G'day guys and welcome to round 13 of the BLGW show. Time flies when you're having fun. Here we are, back to it. Nicola Biaggi, welcome to the show. Thanks, Baz. Thanks for having me. Mate, familiar face. I don't think too many introductions, but look, we'll get to your resume after this, guys. Come back and quick thanks to our sponsors. Biaggi, thanks for coming on to have a chat to me. Massive couple of weeks of footy, mate. You're back down, hot pies, it's the season of the pies. I've been rallying a couple of the girls up. Mate, your resume is absolutely long. Again, familiar face. The girls love you around here. I love you around here. Tananda coach, you're down at West Adelaide for the sample as well. You've played a lot of games through Central Districts. You were the inaugural captain down there for the sample as well. Um, come from the Hooters, Angle Vale, uh, back to back BNF. <laughs> 98 games under the belt, mate. Not showing your age at all, OK? But look, you're down back at Sananda, coaching the girls down there. Massive signing. I was excited to see your name down there. You've done massive recruitment. Great for the club, great for the team. Tell me a bit about, about the Pies this season. Um, it's been really exciting to be uh, back local, but yeah, I did love my time at the Hooters, so hooty hoo, shout out to Carrie, she'll love that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Give her a plug. I love that, she'll <laughs> love it, she'll love that. She'll love it. So, um, but yeah, it's re been really good to come back to Tanunda and be able to coach with like my dad and be at the inaugural squad because I was part of the inaugural Tanunda squad back in 2018 or whenever it was, so it's been really good. Um, hit the recruiting pretty hard as early as I could because I know um, the other coaches in the BLG are really, really good at that, so we really wanted to be competitive this year, but we've got a really great handful of like younger girls that are coming up and through the ranks and just getting them up to speed to women's football, which has been really good. So I think that's contributed to a, a great amount of success is that balance between the amazing young people that we've got that are like, you know, under 16 and just absolute jets and yeah, then yeah. also the experience of the sample players that we recruited and the other senior women that have stayed on with Tananda, so yeah, it's been good. Absolutely. We were giving the uh, the loyal Tananda girls a bit of a plug before the show. You guys have, have got a couple of girls who you've locked in down there mm. who've been there from the start. Again, you yeah. yourself, I remember playing against you, <laughs> alongside you, mate, uh, all those years ago. There was a couple of videos of you getting a bit rough and tumble, <laughs> mate. Always a fiery one, which I love. Um, again, and Tananda, back in those days, you guys were reaching the finals, and of course, you guys have had a couple of development seasons mm. coming under the belt and things like that, but you've come in, I think, at the perfect time. And yeah. looking at the team now, I think you guys can take it to, to that form of glory, if you will, and you guys are now in the hot seat going into finals. Uh, are you excited to be able to take the girls there? Yeah, absolutely. Like, coming into the season we didn't really know I guess what it was going to look like coming off the back of last season but we wanted to come out absolutely firing and start pre-season a bit earlier which we did just kind of after Christmas which was great and then the pickups that we had um, from like Bonnie and Nick Mack and um, Nevi, Britt, uh, Gem Bauer like all these pickups that we had just really helped rejuvenate the squad in terms of just that experience at that next level so that's been really really good but yeah we didn't I have I know this sounds crazy but I have put it on my almost dream board, if you will, about yeah. playing finals in the first year coaching with the girls and player coaching. And to have it a reality is just Incredible. unreal. And I think the girls as well, just even out there tonight, the excitement on the track about playing finals and we're locked in. I think that was the biggest thing coming into the game on the weekend that we really wanted to solidify the hard work that we've put in and and how much everybody has grown from the first pre-season training up to now and how much we play just such a good team game, which I'm just so stoked as, as a coach. So. And again, you guys have come through this season, couple of losses early, couple of wins early, and I think you guys are able to balance and now you're peaking right at the right time. You guys have had a great couple of weeks this week. Again, another great win, and we'll touch on that a little bit later in the show. But I think, again, the, the building you guys have been able to do, like we said, you guys had those solid girls who have been through and through Tanunda. They're yes. those quality players who are locked in there. Again, I had a massive plug for Soph Watson, who's been in and out. Kiama Weecher, massive names like that. They're girls who have stayed with you. Even though the Sanford girls have come in, I think they've been able to merge into your team, and you guys have been able to push forward and have this team of not only loyal Tanunda girls through and through, but these newer players, and like I said, younger players coming through. 
Yeah. Phenomenal to see. Um, I can't wait to watch you guys in finals. I think it's going to be great. And I think, yeah, massive congratulations to yourself for coming on board Thanks. back to your home club as well. Yeah. I think it's really good, that full circle moment, to show you a lot of young girls in the BLGW when you get to that stage of your career, you've done the playing and you're able to loop back through and be able to provide back to your club. And a full circle moment is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it is awesome. And just to touch on those um, girls that are loyal to Nunda through and through, like you said, like Soph Watson, and then we've got Alicia Healy, Abby Underwood, and also Kiama Richa and Sonia and the Howard girls. Like the way that those young girls just read the ball and the flight of the ball is just unreal. It's something that you just can't teach, and it's just so exciting for me as an older person, <laughs> as an older player, <laughs> to see those young girls. And I just can't wait to see what they can do. And you know, especially if they step it up into Sanford, which I hope that they do. I'm watching them, I like that. I, I like hope that. that they do step it up into Central because. Sample because I think they'll be really dangerous. Absolutely, and again, we had Abby Underwood on the, on the show only a couple of weeks ago. It was great yeah. to have a chat to her as well, coming from you know a leadership side from her to be able to see see the club and see the team push through. But really great to see you girls getting involved in the volunteering and behind the scenes. Abby obviously being on the committee and stuff like that, pushing, and you yourself coming back to coach now. Absolutely phenomenal to see you guys putting back into your local club. So we love to hear love it. it. <laughs> Look, we're going to touch on your game this week. Massive love game again yes. down at the doggies. I did love to see it. <laughs> but look, we'll jump into our round 13 wrap up just after this. And guys, we've had a massive round 13, our wrap up this week, brought to you by, again, a massive thank you to all of our sponsors. But this wrap up is brought to you by Rejuvenate Sports and Remedial Therapy. Huge week of footy, round 13. We had Neary taking on Gawla Central. Neary kicking two goals, 2-14 to Gawla Central, one goal, six. Look, Neary's best, Renee Richardson, Jess Axford, very familiar names. I know you've played yeah. alongside a couple of those girls, yeah. against a couple of those girls. Great to see they're pushing through. They had a battle on their hands against Gawler Central, though. Kayla Mudge, again, familiar face down, played a couple for Central Districts, and Taylor Botton as well, kicking their one. Jess Axford, comfortable as ever down yeah. at the Tigers, but look, I think she's come through right at the right time. Yeah. Alongside the likes of Renee Richardson, Courtney Smith, I think they had an absolute battle of a game. Yeah, absolutely, especially in the conditions that were on Sunday, where it was it was tough out there. So that's why, again, like to come out on top, that would have been a close game. Like obviously, that's a that was a big game that we were watching closely because obviously third fourth spot. I was so. going to say it was very important, and I did like to see that Nuri had that they had that drive. They really wanted to make finals and really push for these last couple of rounds win, and to be able to get this win over Gawler Central for that fourth fifth battle was absolutely phenomenal. So props to the Nuri girls for getting up on top again. Massive battle by Gawler Central. I know that was not an easy game for mm. either team. So great to see them out battling out cracker of a game. We also had Tanunda taking on Light in game two. Tanunda 11 goals, 10 at 76 to Light's one goal, one seven. Before we dive too much into Tanunda and pies, 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 how good Sasha Branson for Light? I think she is absolutely phenomenal. I, I think I talk about her most weeks, but Sasha just comes into every game with the same drive. And I think what she does in that midfield, how she's able to manipulate that game, phenomenal. Summer and Scarlett Burfidge, though, not to go unnoticed, I think they had a cracker as well. Sash just drove that game. Oh, she is, I think, just an unreal all-over player as a utility, whether you put her in the ruck or if you put her as a tall forward or tall back. She's yeah. just so flexible in that, and her fitness is just second to none. So really, hands go out to her for just being a solid all-round player. Absolutely, and I think, again, having Miko there to guide mm. her and be able to work with her. Again, Miko playing a lot of strong footy. Um, having that guidance to, to let Sasha know yeah. where to go in that mid and who to get it out to as well, I think it's great to see her. And Sasha's really coming into her own again. She's, yeah. she's playing great footy back at the BLGW, understanding she's down at Centrals, you know, breaking into that ruck position. And I think she's got a lot more great footy to, to come. Yeah, Look. Agreed. Battle for your girls. <laughs> Alicia Healy didn't seem to be slowing down, mate. She's kicked three. Kiama Weecher, again, classic, always classy, kicking two. Soph Watson having an absolute clinic as well. 11 goals, 10, mate. A lot of scoring opportunities for you girls. Again, under the conditions, I know down at Williamstown, go the doggies. The oval does get a bit muddy at times, <laughs> mate. Especially under a, after, after a game before us, it was very much. Look, understanding there was a game before and we always know it goes into a bit of mud pit, but your girls were able to come through again. Quite a few points, but we're able to get it down that scoring end. I think you guys put the pressure on perfectly. 
How do you think you guys are moulding now going into finals? Yeah, really well. Um, for me, like as a coach, because I kind of benched myself because I really wanted the, because we actually had a full bench, which was fantastic. It gave me the opportunity to actually watch from the sidelines and, and see what we might need to fix before going to Excellent. finals or work on. But I was really, really proud to see that all the forward leading patterns, defensive work, um, bump Shepherds, team first acts, that was probably one of the best team games I've seen us play as a unit and a collective. And for me, that really makes me feel more comfortable coming into finals that we absolutely can go all the way and take on the best and win. Absolutely. Again, light's not an easy game to play no. any time. They've got those girls who have that experience. Again, scoring opportunity just wasn't in their favour over the weekend. But your girls were able to battle through. Again, take those scoring opportunities. Alicia Healy's always good on the boot to kick three. I think that was a great day at the office for her. Like you said, to be able to kind of sit back and watch for yourself as, as that player coach, I think it's really opened you guys up for a, a strong position in finals. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Look, here we go. We're in, we're in. <laughs> And a massive game three for the weekend, Angerson versus Williston. We saw Williston go down, I think, for the first regular season game for three, four seasons now. Williston kicking two goals, 3.15 to Angerson's three goals, 2.20. I'm on the pants wagon. I know I tipped this last week and when I saw the results, I went, holy dooly, if that was on sports bet, <laughs> I would have come out on top. Angerston, just too strong. To get over Williston at this stage of the season is massive. The Williston girls absolutely battling out though. Kim Fry, strong as ever. Mm. She's a phenomenal player for them and I think, again, Williston being able to lock in their key players as well. We just spoke about being able to lock those key players in and keep them at the club and in the teams. Mm. Phenomenal. Kim Fry, Ellie Ward was massive for them. And again, AJ Wichello, a name we know very well. I think AJ's phenomenal. Great to see her having a cracker season as well. Battled it on the weekend, but Angerson was just all class. Tiana Groveman, had the sleeves on on the weekend too. You looked bloody <laughs> great, mate, and you played even better. Emily Mann being able to secure um, the game winning goal there as well. Um, Angerston has come through, they've had their development years mate, like Tanunda mm. have, and now they're sitting pretty, battling for that first position. Is Ango the one to watch? I definitely think so. Like, it's really exciting to see so many young girls come up against women and perform. Like, I think that's yep. the hardest thing is the switch, and I've seen it many times before in the sample, especially is when you're 14, 15, 16, and you're performing in the under 16s or the under 17s, and then you come into the women's space and you feel a bit lost out there and it's a yep. very different field of playing. But yet, honestly, all the credit goes to Angerston, their coaches, and, and what they've been doing this year because they are a bloody hard team to face and they are Absolutely. good. And, um, you know, their pickups from, I think it was Wakery or Riverland, phenomenal pickups. 100%. Like, I think, again, I've had Brett, their coach, on the show. Brett, mm, here we yeah. go, mate, we're on. Um, I think, again, like you said, they've had them key girls come through their development yeah. program as well, being able to come through that 16s. They've always had those strong girls, but now being able to field a whole senior women's team is great to see them back in. We love being able to field senior women's team. Unfortunately, again, Barossa dropping out this year. Next year, we're looking to push to be able to have no buys. Everybody gets a game. That would just be the absolute dream. Um, but look, Angerston and Williston setting the benchmark, that was a massive game. Oh, absolutely. And again, like you can never underestimate either of those teams. Like Williston have for years been strong and it's a yep. credit to all the girls that are out there and they've got amazing names that have, you know, we all recognise through either Sample 100%. or whatever they're doing development wise and like you said, AJ's phenomenal and so is Ellie and a few others that they've got out there. There yep. were a few missing though that I didn't see on the list from the weekend. A hundred percent. Yeah. Jessie? I think there was a few again, the Donnies yeah. having come off Country Champs weekend as yeah. well. I think a lot of teams had a little bit of a shuffle around in their list too. Um, again, Donnies, I don't think this is this loss is really going to brush too much off them. I really hope it doesn't take too much uh, skin off the, the knuckles there. But leading into finals, I think they're going to be as strong as ever. And again, like we've discussed, there's these teams who are going to be in those top four. What an absolute battle, mate. <laughs> I know. I don't want to verse any of them in the second Absolutely. prelim or whatever it is. <laughs> it's, going to be, it's going to be hard to have the yeah. office either way, all right? And just after this, guys, we're going to jump into our round 14 tips. BRG, I'm hoping your footy tips are as good as your real estate skills, my friend. <laughs> Look... We've got a massive round 14, last game of the regular season. Mm. This is going to really decide those top four positions, mate. And again, we've got some massive games on the cards. 
Tell me your tips, who you got, who you got your money on. Game one, Gaul Essential versus your Tananda Girls. Big Saturday night game, mate. Who are we backing? The Pies, every day of the week. Pies. I'm sorry. It's hard. See, but... It's hard to back against your own girls, <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, and look, I'm yeah, jumping yeah. on the Pies wagon as well, only because you're on the show with me tonight. And I, I do, think <laughs> I'm holding a weapon under here. Yeah, at that's right. No, I'm kidding. Absolutely, guys. <laughs> Again, GC, give them a run for their money. Prove us wrong, <laughs> all righty. It's going to be a massive game under lights anyway. Down at yeah. Gawler Oval as well. We love the pump up. Get the bar open. Let's get into it. <laughs> game two, we've got Light taking on Williston. Another big game. Who's got that one? Williston. I'm sorry, Light. But, yeah, I reckon Williston will, will take that one home. I, I think I'm going to back here again, BRG. Look, Williston coming off a loss this week. I think they're going to be really charging out to really dive into those finals um, and be really strong into that. And we've got South taking on Angerston as well. Who's got that one, mate? I'm going to go the Pamps. I'm going to jump on your Pamps wagon. Pamps um, wagon. But I'm hoping that they can get some other coloured Guernseys. So if we watch the game, I can tell the difference. So I like that. Advice. Take that suggestion on the, uh, the <laughs> committee there. Look, I'm going to jump... On the pants wagon all season, I think Angerston charging now. Again, massive win this week. Get one more win up. But South Girls, let's get into it. Round 14, I want to see you guys out there having an absolute ball as well. Give them a run for their money. And Nuri Girls, big win this week, but you guys have the buy. So kick the feet up. Get yourselves ready for finals. BRG, what a show, mate. I know. It's not bad, it. it's not bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. And guys, me. thanks so much for coming along with me again this week. And as always, we'll see you back here next week for round 14.